Hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Clifford with ACDC Econ, Key Economic Concepts in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to talk about how you regulate a monopoly. This right here is a natural monopoly. We're going to talk about unregulated, meaning we leave it alone. We're going to talk about socially optimal. We're going to talk about something called fair return. Those are the concepts. Okay, I'm going to show you those concepts. I'm also going to show you why you never tax a monopoly. You're tempted to be like, oh, monopoly is bad. Let's tax it. And taxing a monopoly is bad. I'm going to show you the reason why. I'm going to show you in exactly 60 seconds. The first concept, let's talk about unregulated. Unregulated means a monopoly is left to its own devices on where it can produce. It's going to produce where MR equals MC, price up here and over. You can see price for monopoly and quantity for monopoly when it's completely unregulated. Well, if the government comes in, they try to set up a price ceiling, a cap on the price. They can do it at two different places. They can do it at socially optimal or fair return. All right, first one, let's do socially optimal. Let's say they say they want the quantity that society wants, where it's where marginal cost hits the demand. Basically, right here where the supply is, man, this is where perfect competition would produce. And the government would come in and set up a price right here, which we're going to call socially optimal price. Boom. And that would give you the quantity that's socially optimal. But there's a problem with that. Just look. If they do that, we're going to have a huge loss, right? The firm's going to produce there. The ATC is going to be higher. And now the government has to come in and subsidize them. Instead of doing that, they can do it at fair return. Fair return would be right here where ATC hits the demand curve. This is a price ceiling at what's called fair return. Fair return, which would result in that quantity, basically means that's the only spot in the whole graph where the total revenue equals the total cost. Right? They break even. Right? If they were producing here, they're producing profit. Here, profit. Here, they're producing breaking even. Here, with a loss, only spot in the whole place. That's why it's called fair return. Again, this is unregulated, fair return, socially optimal, ready and done. Till next time. Time for a bonus round. Why don't you take a look at this? You're tempted, ever so tempted, to say, hey, let's put a per unit tax monopoly to force them to do what we want them to do. It's worse, right? A monopoly, take a look, the price is higher than socially optimal. Here's what society wants. A monopoly is charging a higher price, and they're producing a quantity that's even less, right? Here's what they're producing for monopoly. Society wants that amount produced. If you tax them, it's going to make it worse. How do I know? Let's take a look. Let's say you set a per unit tax. A per unit tax that shifts the marginal cost curve up, shifts it up, and now it's over here. Now, ATC would shift as well, but I'm not going to add that because that would get too messy. If they do that, we'll take a look. The new marginal cost hits marginal revenue here. So now this is the quantity for a, the monopoly with the tax. And this would be the price they charge. Well, that makes it worse. Price is even higher than before. Quantity is even less. We've made the situation even worse. So you don't tax monopoly. Till next time.